What's good, YouTube? It's Lord Shift here. We're back at it again with another banger video. And as you guys can tell by the title below, we're going to be going over my top five must-have modifications for my Dodge Charger owners only. So if you guys are in the market for a Dodge Charger or you have a Dodge Charger, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to check out my top five or the top five best modifications to get for this car right here. Whether you have an old Dodge Charger 2013 or below or 2015 and up, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment if you have any questions. Let's get straight to the video, y'all. We're gonna get right to it. Starting off with number one. One of the best modifications that you can do to a Dodge Charger today is a wicker bill. So as you guys can see, this is a wicker bill spoiler. You type that up on Amazon, Z01 add-ons, American Muscle, uh, Vicrez, you should be able to find this. This one right here is specifically from Z01 add-ons. I did have an Amazon one and it broke on me. It was very cheap plastic. I believe it was like, it was called the, the V3 or something like that. V3 spoiler. But that broke on me. Um, I mean, it was a good spoiler though. So if you guys want the Amazon one, you can go for that. But I went straight to ZL1 add-ons and ordered this immediately. So this wicker builds from ZL1 add-ons. Gives it a nice aggressive look, as you can see from a side angle. And especially from the back. Makes it look 10 times better rather than just having, you know, the small stock spoiler. This is clean, but... I like my, my charger to look more aggressive. So this is definitely a great addition to add to the car. Um, this was actually the first modification that I've done to this car as well. Um, this wicker bill right here, man. So that's number one. And that's the wicker bill. So let's move on to number two. Let's get to it. Number two, you could probably already guess what the next mod is going to be. And that's the diffuser. If you go with the wicker bill, you got to go with the diffuser. This was an easy install. Ripped off the stock one through the aftermarket one on it gives it a nice aggressive look as you guys can tell the stock one didn't have the fins on it so the fins makes it look 10 times better especially with that wicker bill combo even without the wicker bill i think one of the first mods you should do is definitely that diffuser the diffuser makes the back end look 10 times better especially if you're low or if you have a scat pack hellcat and you already come like lowered or if you have an rt you're a little high it makes the car look lower a little bit like it makes the car look even lower so I think that's a good that's a good mod to do. Definitely should be one of the one of the first mods you should do. Wicker bill and diffuser. Must have. Must have mods. Let's move on to number three. Must have modification number three. And that will be the wheels. As you guys can see, I have the Hellcat replica wheels on at the moment. This is specifically for my Dodge Charger RT GT Pursuit V6. Um I don't know, Rail Eye, any, any charger besides a Hellcat or Hellcat Red Eye. See, we got them Hellcat wheels. So if you have a, a charger at the moment right now, or if you're in a market for one, um, I definitely recommend grabbing wheels, saving up a couple thousand for some wheels. I believe, I think I spent like for all four of these, a thousand on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Um, but you can go on American Muscle, Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, and you can find Hellcat replicas. Just throw some tires on them and then swap out them stock rims that it comes with. Cause I know uh, sometimes like the chargers come with the silver rims. We don't want, we don't want them wheels, man. We gotta throw the Hellcat replicas on. We trying to be like the big dogs. So I had to throw them wheels on, get rid of the stock RT wheels. I don't know if you guys remember those wheels. If you go on my early videos, um, it'll be up there. But but those are my stock wheels, and we gonna move those out the way. We need these. Grab the Hellcat wheels, whether they're five spokes, uh, wide spokes, red eye wheels. You know, any kind of wheel, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so number one, wicker bill. Two, we got the diffuser. And another must-have mod is the wheels. That right there is just going to automatically make your charger look crazy. Now, let's move on to number four. We ain't done yet. We're going to keep it going. So stay tuned to the end. Once again, make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And comment if you have any questions about any of these mods I'm going over. But these are must-have mods that you should do to your charger. Let's move on to number four. All right, number four. Now, I know I told you guys the first thing I did was the wicker bill. I'm actually completely wrong. First thing you need to do as soon as you get your, your charger, whether it's a Hellcat, RT, GT, any, any trim, you need to get tint. Tint is a must-have mod immediately, no matter what car you have. Even if you got a Chali, even if you got a Chrysler, a Jeep, any car. But if you have a charger, definitely grab tint. I got five percent all the way around and then i got on the windshield i believe it's 20 but you you can see like you can't even see the steering wheel you can see it a little bit but not too much 
but it's not that bad like driving wise like it doesn't look bad you'll get used to it but um five all the way around 20% in the front so grab tint immediately even if you go with a calm 35% all the way around you know anything so you don't want to be driving in a, in a fishbowl charger that's bad you don't want to do that so definitely tint your john out um that was actually one of the first mods i've done as soon as i got the car got it done then i started ordering all cosmetic items but uh that's number four so tent wicker bill diffuser and wheels those are four must-have mods let's move on to the last and final must-have mod let me know what you guys think number five is going to be take a great guess i'm gonna give you all a couple seconds all right let's get to all it right, for last and final modification must have mod that you should do to your dodge charger whether you have a hellcat rt gt v6 any trim starlight headliner as you guys can see i got a video on this on my channel so if you guys want to know how i did this go down to my, my videos and find out where or find where this video is on me doing the starlights and a headliner but this took about two days to do it says 450 stars by the way so that's what that's gonna look like I think I'm going to redo it, though, and uh, order like a 1,000 of them and get all on the side and stuff like that. But as you guys can see, this is 450, which doesn't look too bad. Brightens up the interior. Looks 10 times better at nighttime, obviously, especially if your windows are tinted. I definitely recommend getting the stars. I got those on Amazon. You can go on Lighting Trends or anywhere that sells uh, starlight kits and do it yourself. Took about two to three days. But um, with the help of a couple people, you should be good. That's it for number five, man. So we got wicker bill, diffuser, starlight headliner, wheels, and what was up? Tent. That was it, tent. So um, we're going to give you all a couple more just for an honorable mention. We're going to give you all like one or two more. And um, stay tuned to the end. We're not finished with this video yet. So, so wake up, grab another snack, and let's get it. All right, so number six, I guess you could say as a must-have modification, for charger owners only um, is lowering springs. So I'm giving this an honorable mention. This probably would be one of the best mods I've ever done in my car, but I'm giving this an honorable mention because charger RTs, as you guys, you know, if you don't know, this is an RT, by the way, 5.7 liter V8 Dodge Charger RT, but RTs don't come lowered. Um, only Hellcats, Scat Packs, Red Eyes, but RTs, V6s, you know, they don't come lowered. So if you have an RT or a V6, I definitely recommend grabbing lowering springs. It makes your car looks 10 times better. Um, a lot of people think I have a scat pack just off of the wheels and me being lowered like combo. And you know, the whole look of the car just looks like a scat. The uh, whole time it's, it's an RT. <laughs> so lowering springs, um, that's an honorable mention. If you have an RT or V6, make that your first must have mod. Like this is, you need, to, you need to get that first, lowering springs. I got SNR Performance lowering springs on American Muscle. They're about 185 bucks, something like that. Installation was like 350. My uncle did them, but shout out to my uncle. But um, grab them springs, man. That's the, that's probably one of the first things I'll do if you have an RT or V6. But um, let's move on. We're gonna we're gonna give you all one more. Right, must have mod number seven. My my fault. I'm holding the camera with the other hand. Must have mod number seven. So five plus two. Um, is the front lip. So as you guys can see, we got that aggressive looking front lip on a dodge charger rt hemi and this right here made my whole front end look crazy it made it look meaner it looks like scarier and stuff from the top it's crazy i got this lip off of amazon it was about 80 bucks 80 to 100 bucks um i'll put the link in the description below but if you have an rt hellcat gt v6 v8 whatever you have any charger model grab that front lip and this is in the honorable mention because if you're lowered um like if say if you got the lowering springs, you got an RT or V6, you got the lowering springs or a Hellcat, your your shit already comes lowered. This cracks easily. As you guys can see, crack right there, crack right here. Just from being so low. Like even if you think you're not gonna crack it, you're gonna crack it. And I promise you, order it right now and you find out for yourself. I've been through three of these Johns. I've been through three of them. And literally I can go up that hill right there and it'll be a, a little pothole in that motherfucker boom boom crack my whole lip like i've been through three of them and it's it's annoying as hell i ain't gonna lie if it, if it cracks even worse i'm gonna probably go with a different one it's probably gonna crack again and do the same shit but it makes your car look 10 times better so i'm gonna forever keep that lip on no matter what or a lip on but um that's why that's in my honorable mention man because 
Because if you lower, man, it's just, it sucks. Cracking, it's, it's so easy. Like, I could literally leave here. I'm probably going to crack it up there. Like, you guys will never know. Like, it, it sucks having a lip. But it looks good, so I'm gonna just keep it on there. Um, I feel like I'm talking too much, so that's number seven. As you guys can see, this is why my RT looks so good. You guys gotta just listen to me. Just give me a chance, order those modifications that I went over, and your shit gonna be looking like this, cuz. Like, I knew from the jump, as soon as I was getting an RT, I'm gonna make it look like a scat or a Hellcat. And that's what people think it is. Thank you guys for tuning in to the end of this video. Smash that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new. And. Share this out with your family and friends. But once again, it's Lord Shift, and we out.